In five minutes or less, let's try the income and substitution effects. First, our basic diagram. Budget line, the indifference curve, point of tangency. Next, let's rotate out the budget line by decreasing the price of pizza so we can buy more pizza. What happens now is that we're at a higher indifference curve, E star. Let's now diagram the income effect by removing the change in income, bringing back the new in budget line to the old indifference curve. So we'll have the new relative prices, but the level of real income remains constant. And here we are at E aster. So now what we have is the substitution effect. We've removed the income change, so we have a constant level of income, and we just have a change in relative prices. And the income effect would then be moving up back to E asterisk. Let's break this down and start foundation up. Our diagram. The budget line. What are the properties of the budget line? It tells us that income equals the sum of the expenditures on X plus the sum of the expenditures on Y. What is the slope of the budget line? Here's our usual expression for slope, change in Y over change in X. And then for the budget line, it's going to be the price ratio, minus PX over PY. So take note, so PX over PY is the slope, which is Y over X. Now let's put the indifference curves into this space. We know they go from left to right, and let's also look at the slope properties of an indifference curve. An indifference curve, along it, total utility is constant. This would be the equation. The slope of the indifference curve is MRS. So note we have the slope, Y over X, equals the ratio of marginal utilities. And note again, it's the marginal utility of X over Y. Let's now represent an equilibrium and then reducing the price of X. Reducing the price of X and our equilibriums. We go from A to C. Let's diagram the income effect. And we're going to bring the new line back down so it's just tangent the original indifference curve. Here it is, and then the point of tangency at B, and then this is called the substitution effect. Moving along the initial indifference curve at the new relative price ratio, since we're on the initial indifference curve, real income is constant, and the only difference is the change in relative prices. And finally, the income effect, which will be moving back to point C. So we've increased real income, relative prices are constant, and that's our total move, decomposed into the substitution effect and the income effect. Remember that rule that we had in the last example where we calculated the utility maximizing bundle? Remember that rule? It was called the rule of utility maximization. Where, did, where does it come from? Let's show that. Here's our point of equilibrium, A. And we know that these lines are tangent, the red and the green, and so the slope of the red line is PX over PY, and the slope of the green line is the MRS, or margin utility of X, over the margin utility of Y. So if we rearrange this expression, we have the rule for utility maximization, the ratio of utility to price. And that's where it comes from. 